Welcome to the Interaction Client Did You Know video series by CPI. Hi, this is Ruth Lockery. Did you know that your Interaction Client has an incredible number of functions that you can customize to support the way you work? Today we're going to look at the configuration dialog and show you different ways to customize your client. There are four main things we want to focus on. Alerting, recording personal prompts, general preferences, and finally, the ability of the client to automatically change your status. In your client, click on Options in the menu bar, then click on Configuration. Notice the top choice is Alerting. This is where you tell the system how to notify you that a call is coming in. You can have your client pop up in front of everything else on your screen. You can only have a desktop alert, also known as a toast, put in the corner of your screen. You can have the ring play through your computer speakers and or your phone. You can set the amount of time a call alerts in your client before rolling to voicemail or taking another action you've defined in your client. Did you know that the client help documentation explains all of these features in detail? Be sure to check it out. The second thing we want to point out in configuration is recording your personal prompts. Let me take just a moment to explain the difference between a couple of these prompts. First, see the Record Agent Greeting button? This is used for call center agents, so most business users should never need this one. Next. Notice the Record Out of Office button. Think of this greeting as the equivalent to your Out of Office notification in Outlook. Here, you record a detailed message explaining your absence and perhaps talking about who a caller would need to speak with if they have additional questions. Once the message is recorded, you must click the Activate Out of Office Message checkbox and click the Apply button to have the greeting play. Set your client to an unavailable status, such as out of office or on vacation, and your new greeting will now play to your callers. Be sure to deactivate this greeting when you return from your absence, just as you turn off out of office in Outlook. The next prompt to discuss is record no answer message. If you record this prompt, it will play when a call alerts in your client and you fail to answer. You could use this if you wanted a caller to hear your voice saying that you are unavailable, as opposed to having the system say you're unavailable. Personally, I prefer having the system do it because then I don't have to remember to record anything. But we wanted to be sure you knew this capability was here. Finally, the most important choice on this screen is Record Name. It's really important to do this, so callers hear your name in your own voice. The system pronounces names phonetically, and often that just doesn't sound right. Here's the spot where you fix that. One final note about all of these recordings. To make any of these recordings, you pick up the handset on your phone, click the button, and then follow the system instructions that are spoken to you. Be sure to press Apply when you've finished your recording. That's what saves the recording to the system. The third part of the configuration menu we want you to see is the General Preferences section. We want to mention that they are here. Again, if you have questions about what any of these would do for you, be sure to consult the client help. Finally, let's look at Auto Status Changer. Did you know that it takes 21 days to establish a habit? Changing your status is so very important to communicate presence to your colleagues, but it's something different than you're used to doing. While you're building the habit, take advantage of Auto Status Changer. To enable this feature, select the radio button to change your status when your workstation locks or your screensaver starts. Then click the What to Change tab. Select a status from the Set My Status To drop-down list. I recommend people who are learning to change their status use Away From Desk. At this point, you must click Apply. Notice there are other options for configuring this feature. 
Again, you can check out the help if you want more details on how to use these other options. Remember, once you get used to accurately changing your status yourself in your client, you'll want to come back and turn off the auto status changer. Otherwise, if you set your status to in a meeting and then lock your workstation, the auto status changer would put you into away from desk, which is not as helpful to the folks who are calling you. There you go, the configuration menu. Well, actually, that's just the beginning of the configuration menu, but it's all I have time for today. Keep exploring. There are lots of great features here. Thank you for watching. You can find more information and comment on this video at blog.comprod.com.